Happy New Year. Where you been, buddy? I've been waiting for you. I got here as fast as I could. I told you I had something for you. What? Are you ready to see it? See what? Are you ready? I guess I am. Come with me. Well, did I tell you? Here it is. That definitely ain't no Cimarron. The all new Cadillac ATS. You have been busy. It is our first, what I would say, truly competitive small car from Cadillac. So this shares no platform with any other GM product? This is an all new architecture. We call it the Alpha architecture. The front suspension, unique. The rear suspension, multi-link. And the other thing, Moto Man, that we've talked about, you know, our cars can tend to be a bit heavy we've at discussed times, right? This. We, you know, how I feel you know about the CTSV. we've talked about that. And then the CTS, for instance, tips the scales a little bit over 4,000 pounds, shall we say? I said 500 pounds. That was your homework. <laughs> 500 pounds off that car. This vehicle will be less than 3,400 pounds. See, that's less what I like than 3,400 pounds. You're right there. Dynamic, quick, nimble, and you know, having driven it, the, one of the words that I would use to describe it is tossable. 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 Now, when have you ever heard that word describing a Cadillac? Not from a family man like you. <laughs> so you went home, you did your homework, you, you lowered some weight on this thing. So how did it all come about? In every segment that we compete, we want to be a winner, hands down, no compromises. And to do that in this segment, the compact luxury segment, the largest segment in the marketplace, we knew that we couldn't just take something else and add on to it or even take something and, and take away from it because we wouldn't have a formula that would work. And so again, starting from a clean sheet of paper, understanding what it would take, looking at the folks that are the leaders in the segment, the three series for instance, and starting with some of those similar types of setups I know you and have layouts. Experience driving competitive cars. We do have some from experience. Back when you had hair, yeah. you were driving competitive cars. <laughs> But, but the thing is, if you're going to be a winner, you have to be a winner in every sense of the word. Having the right powertrains, for instance, so in this vehicle, we'll have a two and a half liter, four cylinder, 200 horsepower, 188 foot pounds of torque. And then at the higher end of the level, 3.6 liter, 318 horsepower, direct injected V6 engine. Again, with a car that's under 3,400 pounds, over 300 horsepower, going to the wheels, either rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. So the Both reality is your Harvard MBA is starting to pay off here. Well, you the know math is all starting to work. Now, the other engine that I'm probably most excited about is the two liter turbo. You mentioned this. I did mention it, that's right. I said we would be doing something special. How about this, 270 horsepower. You didn't mention that part. Out of two liters, 135 horsepower per liter will be available with a six speed manual and a six speed automatic. You're getting it right. Six speed, that's what I like to see. We're getting there. You know, I spoke with Clay back in LA. He showed me the XTS. Stunning car. You, you did say I'd be impressed, and I was impressed. So Clay talked to me about the interior of the XTS and really put some nice details, like the purple stitching in there. What have you done here? What you'll see is it is indeed a Cadillac. The level of refinement in terms of materials, the level of attention to detail, things like the inserts. You can make them carbon fiber real wood and we'll have that nice stitching and detail trim french seams for instance this vehicle will also be available with q our new user interface that will upgrade the level of infotainment and accessibility that our consumers have to their mobile devices that they bring into the vehicle it has everything and then more but i'm just excited because it's a small nimble quick dynamic cadillac so i've seen all your videos from nurburgring I see this guy about your height with a helmet on. <laughs> Was that you over there? Unfortunately, I'm not yet certified for Nurburgring, but we'll be working on that.